Hi guys, welcome back. <laughs> That's so fitting. <laughs> welcome back to our channel. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Selenia for those who do not know and in today's video I have a video all about how I am a full-time dog mom while being a full-time registered nurse who works 12 three days a week. So if you're interested in tips and tricks that I do to make my puppy happy, doesn't she look so happy, then keep on watching this video. She literally loves to be in all of my videos so now this is one for her and I feel like she's gonna act a plum fool because that's just how she acts <laughs> on a daily basis. But Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're interested in how I do it, then keep on watching to give your puppy a nice, happy life while you also still get into the bag so you're able to provide for them. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Give me a kissy. Thank you, good girl. You're gonna be nice. Oh, good girl. All right, so I don't have a list or anything to explain everything. We're just gonna do a little chit chat about what we do to make Storm be very happy while I work as a registered nurse because you have to think a lot of people work like five eight hour shifts which nurses can do too but I'm talking about the ones who work in the hospital like myself who work three twelves twelve hours you may have your commute there your commute back you got to wake up get dressed and you're without your little child puppy baby for all of that time and the best thing to do to keep them happy in my opinion is to make sure that they have a wonderful toy <laughs> she's chewing on my beautiful couch right now i'm letting it slide though because she's part of the video you know but this lovely chew stick literally keeps storm busy all day long and i have a camera set up for her so i'm able to watch her so i'm able to watch her while i am at work just to make sure that she's okay and she's not sitting here crying so 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 hard but that is what i do for her is just putting her she's also crate trained that's a plus is she stayed with my mom for a little bit while I was like working a lot of shifts here and like figuring things out while I was here in Houston because I'm from Wisconsin. But um, she, my mom crate trained. <laughs> I'm very thankful for her being crate trained. She loves her crate. At first I thought that I was like, I don't know, not making her happy, but she literally does so much better. Storm is a very social puppy and with her being very social, like she doesn't do good with free range because she gets in a lot of trouble. and. We'll just talk about the whole experience of me going to work and storm. So let's start from the beginning and then I'll give you guys tips and tricks. So what I first started doing when I went to work, because I felt so bad with storm being crate trained. Mind you, these are all my opinions and it works for storm and I, it may not work for other people. And I feel like I do a good job of her like being in her crate, not being in her crate, all that good stuff. She seems to be pretty happy. So I think what I'm doing is okay, which I feel like I can, that's why I can share. But if you guys don't agree, that's totally okay. But the first thing that I tried to do was I felt so bad with her like, being in the crate was that I like got this little um kind of like this little play fence like you know they have for kids I kind of got it for puppies and you're able to like latch it and like put it on the cage and let them have free roam like a playpen while you're at work but I had the smartest dog in the whole entire world and she knew how to bust out of the playpen and escape all through my house and with Storm kind of having a little bit of anxiety, I don't know if it's just a French Bulldog thing or just dogs in general because you're gone for such a long time when you go to work, but Storm was tearing up my house. Like I would come home and I have this problem now where like she was eating my walls and that's not good for her, like literally at all. So I have to go get her to get checked out for all of that stuff. And then of course my home looks kind of crazy. So I was like, no. We need to stop the playpen thing and i did it multiple times like the first time she did it i'm like oh she didn't mean to do it like she won't do it again she's too smart for that when she has all her toys everywhere because she escaped and also she would be like not pottying where she needs to potty because her potty was in the playpen and she escaped and didn't want to go back so um i ended up having to stop doing that and i let her do it like three four times thinking that maybe i don't want her to be in the crate all day so she needs to be in the playpen. That did not work for my puppy. It may work for other people, but it does not work for mine. She's too smart. She knows how to like bust the whole playpen with her head because I watched it <laughs> one of the days. She likes to bust it with her head and that's how she escapes and then she becomes free. And she's just, she just causes terror in my house. <laughs> so that is the thing that I was like, no. So then we started to work on crate training her. My mom finalized crate training her. But Storm was doing a really, really good job, right? See, you're over that. You're overdoing all that crazy stuff, right? We're not crazy 
see anymore. But now she um, really, really likes her crate. She literally, we have a routine in the morning. I wake up, she knows my alarm clock, when she hears my alarm clock, she literally wakes up and is looking at me at the bed like, girl, it's time to get up, you have to go to work to pay my bill. <laughs> so I get up and I let her outside, she uses the bathroom, um, I put a little potty pad for Storm out on my balcony and then I just clean as need be, only because I do live in an apartment, I don't live in a home where she can just like go out in a yard. And I don't live in an apartment where she like has grass or anything like that. Like just right when you open up like on the first floor. So we have to improvise and she's an apartment puppy. She's small enough to be one so it works perfectly. So I let her out in the morning. And there's going to be a whole video of like my morning routine of what I do for work that should be coming soon. But let's talk through what I do for Storm. Let her out in the morning and then while she's outside, geez. Handling her business, I get her food and stuff ready. So right now she's got a wet and dry food. I mix it all up together and I have her food for there. She comes inside from outside and she starts to eat her breakfast, what I call it. And then I go get ready for my day. During this time, Storm has free reign of the whole house. She runs around, she gets her little zoomies out of the way. She plays with her toys. She'll like go in her little teepee that's over there in the corner. She'll sit in her bed. She'll watch me get dressed. She just really does anything to make sure that we can still like hang out together until I get ready to go to work. And then she finishes her breakfast when I eat my breakfast in the morning and I leave the door open for her so she's able to just continue to use the bathroom in and out and out as much as she wants. She also has a potty pad in the bathroom just because she is an apartment puppy and the door is not always open, but that's what seems to work for us. And then she knows when I go to her treat bowl that it's time for her to go in her cage. So her cage I have over there, but I let her like sit at the window so she can see outside because she's very, very nosy. And I give her fresh water in her cage, which I got a little thing from Amazon that you're able to put their water bowl in. I have her little bed in there. I have a potty pad in case she needs it, which Storm is pretty much potty trained so she doesn't really need the potty pad but it's there in case she needs it and let's say like there's an emergency at work or something where I have to stay late and then I put two stuffies in there and this nasty little bone <laughs> that she loves and then she also gets her how sweet and then she also gets her treat and when she sees her treat she literally runs to the kennel because she's so excited and what I also do is I also put on music with Alexa I thought she was going to turn on because you know like once you say their name they like hear you but I turn relaxing music on for her there and that lasts for a decent amount of time and then I tell her how much that I love her and I'm going to work to pay for her because she's very expensive with her needs and her wants and her clothes and her toys and her vet visits and her eye cream and her bath stuff and her going to get everything that she wants so I tell her I go to work for her because pretty much I do because <laughs> she's just like my child. Can you not? Don't do that though. Stop biting on me. You want to play, 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 play. So that's pretty much what I do for her in the morning. And that seems to make her okay. I was not on board with getting her a little camera to watch her. Because I'm like, what if something bad happens? Like I can't rush home and get to her, you know? <laughs> so I was hesitant with that. But then I decided that I needed to just to make sure that she was okay while I was gone. And literally Storm like sleeps all day. It's the French Bulldog in her. Once she knows that she's good, she has her music, she has her toys, she has everything that she needs, she will sleep all day long. So right after I get off of work, I rush on home to Storm. I don't usually stop anywhere. I come straight home to her just because she's been hanging out by herself. She also doesn't have like a super tiny cage where she's being like, I don't know, not happy. She has plenty of room to walk around in her cage. I was also thinking about getting her like an extra large one, but I don't know if she needs it. She seems pretty happy with her medium-sized one. And she's a small pup up. But that's what I do for her during the morning times. And then when I come home, sometimes about time in the morning, I'll try to walk her. But I wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> I do not have time to walk her in the morning. But that's one of my goals is maybe a couple times through the week is to walk her in the early morning on days that I work. Just to, like get some of her energy out. But she's such a lazy puppy when it comes to sleeping that she'll be out like a light when I leave. And it's dark and I make sure I open up all the blinds so she's able to like see some light and all that good stuff while I'm gone. So that's good and I'm able to redo her music on the Alexa thing when it turns off. So there's that. And then when I end up coming home, right away I come home to her like I mentioned. And she's so pumped to see me. She looks so cute in her little cage. But then when I let her out, she's like, hey mom, welcome home, welcome home, welcome home, welcome home, welcome home, welcome home. right? You're happy to see me? <laughs> that I said yes 
And then she has a routine now that she knows that when I come home, she goes straight to the door and she gets her leash on because we go for like a 20, 25 minute walk outside after I get done with work. So she's able to get rid of all of her energy, go to the bathroom outside, um, pee outside, do her little poo poo outside, all of that good stuff. And just to let her like release some air. She's doing so good with her routine. She knows what's going to happen. So she knows her routine and all of that good stuff when it comes to her walk. And then we come back in, I give her a nice little ice cube because she's always panting because French bull dogs struggle with their breathing. And then she drinks her water from her bowl. And then I get her feed ready again. So then I feed her twice a day when I have work days. And I give her her wet, her dry. She eats that. I let her go outside. We play for a little bit with her toys. I eat my dinner. We just hang out, chit chat. And Storm is one of the type of puppies where she'll literally watch TV. So before I go bed to bed, like if I'm watching a certain show or anything like that, then I she watches it with me and she kind of just relaxes in the bed because I let her sleep with me. We co sleep. <laughs> we co sleep because no, she's not about to be in her being kennel trained. What? You don't want to be in the kennel, right? Not when you're sleeping. You want to sleep with me? You want to sleep with me? Oh. Okay. Don't talk to me. Hey. So she sleeps with me when it comes to um, sleepy time. And I feel like we're able to cuddle, hang out. She just enjoys being in my presence. And then if I work again the next day, I don't usually work three in a row just for storm's sake. But... Um, usually I may work two in a row because one day doesn't even make it worth it. Then she wakes up again and we do the whole routine all over again. So really after I get off of work on nights, it's pretty quick with like how long we hang out. We hang out for a couple of hours, but on my off days, I definitely try to make sure I do the most. And a couple of tips for people who are like full, who are full time parents with it just being them by themselves, taking care of their puppies is I highly suggest not doing three in a row if you can. I've noticed when I do three in a row with Storm, she just starts to act a little funny and she starts to go to the door like, where are you going? Cause she feels like you're gone all the time. No matter if I'm there for four days in a row after. So three in a row, I typically do not do. I try to do two in, a, two in a row and then sometimes I'll have like one here and there because you know we only work three days for the week. And I limit my amount of picking up shifts. And with that, I just kind of budget my funds a little bit better because I know some people can pick up shifts a lot more often, but I have a responsibility at home with it being storm, and I don't want to be gone all the time just because I'm trying to pick up a few shifts. So depending on how the week goes, depending on my schedule goes, that's when I decide to pick up. Also, what are some other things that I do? Getting a crate that's large enough for them, finding a toy that they absolutely love, like that bone that I showed you. Um, she's just playing with her Yoda right now. She likes that type of stuff and just being as interactive with them as possible when it comes to your off days. Like off days, I go for storm extra long, long walks on my off days. Like we'll do our 20 minutes around the area and then we'll go in like a wooded area and we'll walk there and she gets very tired and we go in the afternoon so she can like work up her energy and then she comes home and like takes a nap. And we play games like while we're all through the house. All of that good stuff I feel like is what's just best for them. I think all in all it just depends on what type of puppy you have and what's their like demeanor that they have. Because Storm can get very wild. She does her zoomies through the house when she just has her burst of energy. She'll run laps around this, what is this, like 800 square feet? Almost 900. Whatever, however big this apartment is, she runs laps around this bad boy. She does not stop. She runs into walls and everything. So I think if you're thinking about getting a puppy or a dog or anything like that, puppies especially are very hard when you're going to work because they need a lot of training and you're sitting at work trying to provide for them and yourself. But if you do decide to get a puppy, I think that it's best to look at like their anxiety levels and are they very, very social dogs where they need to be with someone 24 seven? Are they a little bit more lenient where they're okay while you're at work? Or are they literally going to be so stressed out when you're gone? You just have to like take into consideration their needs too before you get a puppy, not just yours. And I think that so far so good. Storm and I have a really good idea of how I do my work schedule. She gets plenty of treats on my days that I go to work, the days that I'm off of work. She gets plenty of love, pretty, plenty of cuddles. And all in all, it seems like we've been doing great. I'm trying to think if there's any more tips that I can give you guys about having a puppy. Oh, figure out their feeding schedule is what's most important. When they're puppies, they have to eat quite a few times a day. But Storm's almost one next month. Crazy, I'm about to have an old kid. Um, and now she only eats like two times a day and she does totally fine with that. So I think that just treating them the best that you can because they're not only a companion for you, but you're a companion for them and you don't want to be gone all the time for them. I think that's the best thing for 
them. So if you guys have any questions down below about how I am a dog mom full time while I work full time as well, then let me know in the comments below. But I hope that I covered everything. If I didn't, maybe I'll add some things in the description bar or you guys can ask me down below and we can chit chat. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Sorry, baby. And like this video, comment down below. She looks like she bites me all the time in this video, huh? She's just very playful, so I'm sure she's going to run around in two seconds. But like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Say see ya. Say see ya. Say see ya. Come on. Say see ya. See ya. My turn to kiss you. Your turn. Oh, thank you. My turn. Your turn. Oh, thank you. <laughs> see ya. Bye, beautiful.